everyone, Emmy Lou here. I'm going to show you my favourite animal, well one of my favourites, otter. I'm going to do an otter for you. So we want paper, pencil, and we want to just do it like landscape. So what you want to do is start off with a face that looks, or a shape, should I say, it's going to be the face. So a shape that looks like a jacket potato or a baked bean. Baked bean maybe. So it's going to go about here. Don't leave a bit of gap so you can have about there. And then what you want to do is you want to do two little ears. So you're going to go out here. You're going to go ah, oh. and then meow. Then you're going to go the other side. You're going to go ah, oh. and then meow. So it's like two little ears coming out. Then we want to do the back. So we're going to just touch this bit here. And he said ear. <laughs> Okay, and then go ah, uh, going down, 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 down. So it's almost like you're creating, it's his back basically. So go down, quite a big bit, then you're gonna go out. So it's like down and then a little line out. Then we wanna go touch this bit of the ear, just here, just here. <sighs> and then go down like that. Then touch this bit here if you can see and you're gonna go oh this is gonna be he's gonna in a weird position he's kind of like holding something he's kind of dipping his he's dipping his paw in the water so we're gonna go a straight line round if you can't do this just think line rainbow like a rainbow on the side just try and get it like that so again we're down you kind of shape like a C for a cat, then a D for a capital D. Tell me a capital D. Depends what the video looks like. It might be back to front. Okay, then we want some fingers. So you're going to do a little toe. It's not really a toe, is it? It's like a paw. Two, three, four, about there. So just don't worry too much what it looks like because most of it's going to be coloured in. You won't see it. And then you're going to do a roundy bit. Then... So it's like he's dipping his paw in there. We're gonna have like webbed between. So don't worry if it looks strange now, it's fine. Then we wanna just do a line that goes, ah. <laughs> now he's in the water. So you're gonna do this. You're gonna almost join up the lines. So think about the whole line there, the water. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna touch the ear and you're gonna go down. And then this bit, raw. So just think about the body. You've got the big hind leg there. And then you've got a little line coming out. Don't worry if it looks strange for now. Don't panic. Now where the hand is, do a shape like that. And then do another one. And then another one. And it kind of looks like a ring of water. Like he's dipped his hand in the water. You can just carry on like till you get to very small if you like. So he's dipping his hand out of the water or his paw. Now, now's for the face. Okay, so do a little line there, little line there. Now the top of the head is more like a heart almost. So it's got a bit of a dip. So think about, if you can see it, can you see it? I'm going to rub that little bit out. like someone's chunk uh, got a bit of a chunk out of his head but it's not going to be like that after we've finished then here we've got a shape of the face so what you want to do is touch about here the jacket potato and you're going to go up and then here you're going to kind of go up like that so like that so if you think about it you've got line line and then another one if that helps you more and we're going to rub out this line we don't need that line anymore if that was too quick for you and it was a bit tricky to see all i did was we had the potato and i did line line another little line and rubbed out the potato line don't worry too much if this isn't what you've got it's fine now Gonna make this look more gonna try and make it look more like a roundy shape okay 
Now, the eyes, you're gonna do this. You're gonna go up and then across, round and across. And you wanna do these cool little bitty eyes. So it's like he's got some cute little eyes. You can do whatever eyes you like, as long as they're little eyeballs. And they're gonna be colored, so it'll be fine. And then we're gonna do a nose. So you wanna do, I wanna try and make sure the you wanna do this. It's quite a big nose actually, an otter. And you're gonna do triangle, triangle. Now think about the nostrils. And then you wanna go. So that's kind of like the mouth. Don't worry if it looks strange because of the eye. Because the eye is very different, isn't it, from here to here. Now it's all in the colouring, this is. So all the colouring is going to make it look more like an otter because you've got the whiskers. We could literally put the whiskers now. I'm just going to have a look at the picture that I was looking at. Right, let's make it look more like a... So this is going to be less rounded. So it's flatter across. Right, got long whiskers. They look cool. just adding the bits in so you can see okay right so now he's got a flat bit there it needs to be flat don't don't worry if you feel that you need to add things or take things away it's fine yeah, he's got a bit of a jaw I would probably say that's fine what we've got there I'm gonna add a bit more though right so now we are going to otters have got Trying to think if otters have tails, because they're quite similar to beavers, but they're not. I fed otters in Cornwall and they were so cute. They're quite fishy though, they smell really fishy. Fishy otter. So we're gonna get, I'm gonna use oil pastel, because I seem to be using oil pastel all week. I'm gonna get a, you can use anything, but I'm gonna get a grey, a brown, and a black. Those are the different oil pastels I'm using. But you could use chalk. I mean, chalk would be really cool for this, if I'm honest. Do you know what? I think I might use chalk. I suddenly feel like I want to use chalk. I've just got to find my chalks. Oh, okay. Wow. Don't have many colours left. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I use all my colours, I'm like, oh, I've got none left. Right, so I've got a brown, a grey and a white chalk. Right, what I want to do is, let's have a look at what I'm copying here. Okay, brown, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my brown chalk and I'm going to out, like not outline it, I'm going to just, this is where his body folds, so we want to do it quite dark. Tail. He's got a bit of a tail in there, I don't know in the water. Right, he's very shiny as well, but we don't need to add that in. His head's always... It's like he's got hair, I think, don't you? If you see an otter, I think it looks like they've got hair. It's quite cute. Then, on a bit of grey. quite white here so I'm just gonna do a bit of grey there it's quite light on quite a few of the bits so I'm gonna keep most of it light if I'm honest I kind of feel like it looks better if it's kind of lighter then oh, should I get the, I might get black at the end so I'm gonna get my one finger He's very, like, because he's come out of the water, he's very, but if you can see what I'm trying to do, he's got texture to him. Because he's come out of the water and he's quite shiny, but we don't have to add that. Oliver the Otter, there we are. <laughs> I love naming my animals. Oh, he's looking pretty cool. Now your one won't have an outline because you don't draw it in, in a pen like me. So you can outline it. You can do black for the eyes. 
looks kind of cute. And he's got these bits. You literally do the hair and everything. Now his nose is a bit, it's a bit red his nose. I'm going to smudge it so I don't want it to be too dark. And then his mouth's kind of pink. I might do a little bit of a pink, you know. A little bit, I've got only a fluorescent pink. That might look a bit strange. Give it a go though. Now the eyes, I think it needs to have more white on it. I can just add that if I want. And don't be scared to add things and take things away and like do the do the hair. Don't be worried about adding texture. Because it actually looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna do quite dark there. No. I want to outline his little leg. He's got another line there, if you can see it. So what you could do, if you're finding this a bit challenging, is just outline him normally, how you would with black or something. Because what you're trying to do is make him stand out. Oh, that kind of looks cute. It's got a bit of a dark colour there that we could just do. I love black. I think it looks really cool when you start shading in, in black. Now his whole body's in water, so it probably wouldn't stop there. It'd probably carry on. So I would probably go down a bit more and maybe add that. And then the hand, I wouldn't exaggerate the hand much. Just like do that and then maybe put him in the water. It's fine. Now I'm going to do a water, like an awesome blue water. Might put it everywhere with his hand in there. I think next week I want to show you different techniques on how you can create, you know, things with pasta or different things that you've got around the house. I'd love to do a cartoon um, version of a Kellogg's cornflakes box. So you get the Kellogg's Corn Flakes box or any cereal box and you turn it inside out and then we can create our own. I'm going to give that a go next week. So you might want to get yourself a, well, a cereal box. Anything's fine. So there's my otter. And what you can do is in the water, you can either do white lines over the top. And if it doesn't show up, you could always do black black lines or dark blue dark blue might look cool with white just because it's standing out isn't it oh he looks cute i guess if i would add something i'd make it i'd put more detail but i think that's pretty cool for now if you can't see the whiskers add them in you can either do them black I quite like doing some of them white because it really stands out. Uh, let me get my. It stands out when you hit the dark bits of the, the otter. So, I'm just going to check my picture so I can see roughly what I want. I'm just going to do a little bit of white there. He looks cute. Give him a little bit of a white bit of his nose. And the eyes, we're going to do a little bit of light up there, just so he looks a little bit more happy. Ah, he looks awesome. Now what you could do, if you like, is you could get white chalk, if you've got it, and start to just do, do white on top. This will make him look like he's got wet fur, so it might look quite cool actually. If you think about an animal's fur, how it goes, depends where it is on its body like on the head it goes this way and it's just it looks kind of friendly and quite cute and if you think about there if you've gotten if you haven't got any chalks good idea to get them at some point if it's your birthday you could ask for chalks because they're really cool to just experiment with you know okay that is my hairy otter. He looks so cute. 
And if you want to add anything else, obviously feel free. You could have him in a background or whatever you like. He looks a tiny bit like a beaver, which is kind of cute. Um, I'm going to do a dark line of blue just because when something's in the water, it's quite nice to show that it's a different colour. There we go. The hand, I've kind of just not done anything with it actually. Could do more with the hand because it's a webbed it's a webbed hand but we don't want to put too much detail in there so enjoy doing the otter have an awesome weekend if you're watching this on friday and let me know how you get on share subscribe and like and i will see you soon Mwah.